hey everyone welcome back I had to find a device to record the audio for this video uh, it's not my usual setup but it will have to do for now right so we are doing we're drawing three quadrilaterals a quadrilateral a quadrilateral is a plane or a 2d shape that has four sides right, our first quadrilateral will be a square and we know that squares have four equal sides and all the internal angles are 90 degree angles so I drew the baseline it had a radius of 1500 millimeters I believe and then I extended it a bit so that I could construct the 90 degree angle at this end of the base the procedure for constructing the angle is the same as always and that is exactly what I am doing at this time I started off with 500 millimeter radius arc to cut the baseline in two points and then I extended my radius to 1000 millimeters to draw the two intersecting arcs and here I am drawing the other side of the square that's 1500 millimeters So I'm just going to check the angle and as you can see it is right on point, it's 90 degrees. So we're continuing, I am going to, I'm not going to draw, I'm not going to construct any more 90 degree angles, although you can do that, I'm going to choose a slightly different route, I'm going to go with arcs, because arcs are very cool. So I go to the other end of the baseline draw an arc with a radius of 1500 and then I go to the top of the line, the last side that we drew and I draw another arc of radius 1500 and where those two arcs intersect that is the corner of our square that we are looking for and there you have it, I'm just gonna highlight the four sides of our square and change the layer good change it to the outline and if I'm not mistaken I think I'm gonna check one of the other angles just to ensure that it is also at a 90 degree angle There you have it, 90 degrees. Our square is looking very, very good, if I may say so myself. Okay, so we're gonna move on now to the parallelogram. And before we do that, I'm gonna draw a line from the base of our square. It's just to create some space and also to establish, to keep us straight with the baseline. So for our parallelogram, I'm going with a base of 2500. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with a 60 degree angle for the parallelogram. So I'm actually going to construct it and the construction will be same as any other time that I've done a 60 degree angle on this channel. Uh, we actually have a video where we go through how to construct a 60 degree angle and a 90 degree and bisect it and so on. All right, 
it so I'll probably link it below so we are well on our way with our parallelogram we have our baseline of 2500 and we have drawn our second side at an angle of 60 degrees now at this point you can go ahead and construct another 60 degree angle at the base at the other end of your base but why do that when you have arcs so here i am drawing an arc radius 2500 and i'm gonna draw another arc in similar fashion to the square of this arc is 1500 because that's the length of that side so from there all we do is connect the dots draw one line across and pull this side to meet it and that's it our parallelogram of course it looks kind of dull so we're going to go for our pink outline and um, yeah so this is our parallelogram in all its glory I'm just gonna show you the angle at its 60 degrees great so all is well and good So we're moving on now to the trapezoid and he is the he's the super weird guy he is the guy he's the guy that uh, yeah he looks funny so the trapezoid has no equal sides in length no parallel sides and none of the angles are the same right so nothing is is consistent with a trapezoid so we have our base and we are going to construct a 60 degree angle at this end of the base and at the other end we'll do 30 degree angle all right so just as before just as before we construct the 60 degree angle and we draw a line yep now you can see here i'm having some issues pinpointing exactly where the line is going to pass so i simply um, zoom in is an excellent feature on AutoCAD. I zoom in so that I can see it a bit better. And there you have it, a 60 degree line. So at the other end, I'm gonna construct another, well, I'm gonna construct a 30 degree angle. But in order to do that, I first have to construct a 60 degree angle and then bisect it. So that's what I'm doing now. I have constructed the... No, I haven't constructed anything. I've drawn my first arc. This is my second. Radius 500. And just like we have in the past... Well, I was about to draw the 60 degree line. Then I realized that this line... This side of our trapezoid is quite short. So I decided to lengthen it. And we will see a bit later down that it will come back to haunt me. And I will wonder why did you do that in the first place. Right, so this is our 60 degree angle. to bisect the angle
course as I mentioned before we have a video detailing how to bisect angles and so on and I will link it below so that you can go back and see it so we have our two bisecting arcs we have our point of intersection and we have our 30 degree angle so our trapezoid is almost almost finished right but um yeah i realized that the side that i drew is quite long so i decided to trim it so what i'm doing here is i'm just drawing a line across it and i'll use it as a knife to trim the line after trimming it I look at it and I realize that okay if I connect these two points then it will look a whole lot like a triangle so I'm going to trim it again and it's at this point I realize that I should have just left it at the original length yeah So this looks much, much better. Right, and I connected the dots, and now I'm gonna change the layer. Great, so we have our four quadrilaterals at this point and I'm just gonna add some dimensions to this so that you can see that all the lines are actually different in length and if you look at it you can see that the angles are also very very different right, so just showing all the corners there Okay, so at this point, I'm simply going to enter the names of the quadrilaterals. So that there's, there's no confusion. I just realized that I actually spelled parallelogram incorrectly. And that sucks a lot. Thanks for watching. If you learned something, please leave a like and subscribe.